Hello guys, it's Rad, welcome to the channel and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading for March 4th to March 10th uh, 2019. So while I'm shuffling the cards, um, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a general reading for Libra Star Sign and uh, for that reason it's going to resonate in a different way uh, and uh, in a different level with uh, every single different Libra. So in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread and also I will do what I can to give you a few examples just to try to make my uh, points across a little bit better but ultimately at the end you will have to um, basically align that uh, general reading with your personal situation to make it a little bit more personal reading. Now, um, if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot, that is a subject of a private reading and uh, for such readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you are going to find a, a full list of my services um, as well as uh, their pricings. So that being set aside, um, cutting down the cards and the first card that marks the topic of your week Libras, this is going to be the Page of Swords, followed by the second card, which is uh, the negative approach toward the situation or the negative taking on the Page of Swords, this is going to be the Wheel of Fortune, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, um, that is going to be the uh, Judgment, and should you follow the advice of, car of Tarot, the last card is about the final outcome of growth. This is the King of Wands. So once again, Page of Swords, followed by the Wheel of Fortune. Then it is the Judgment card. And the last one that we do have, that is to be the King of Wands. All right. So... Um, well, that week, uh, it does look like that you are going to have an unexpected um, source of help, or rather like a new source of help comes around. And it will manifest itself uh, through a, a person. So it's a person that comes around and helps you, but it's not going to be like... Uh, uh, you know, they do things for you, but the whole help comes through a, a balanced or rather like equal cooperation that is displayed here by the uh, Page of Swords, which is um, a very, how can I place it, a very initiative uh, person with intellectual uh, agility. So they are, uh, how can I place it? They are very unorthodox uh, with what kind of things they can that they can came up with when it comes to resolutions of a problem. So to give you um, a bit of an, an example, how that could play out is that you struggle in a certain field of your life, career or or relationship. It doesn't really matter, and uh, you know. You have your options available, but it seems that none of those options available is really working out uh, or is going to work out for you. So that person, you share your fears with a friend of yours, which could appear to be that person. And they say, well, you know, why don't you instead try that thing? You know, it kind of seems more reasonable, isn't it? And uh, basically what I'm trying to say here, Libras, is that this person is going to open your eyes for another option available that for some reason you haven't thought of. I know that you are stupid or, or anything, but because when someone is under pressure, they kind of like, I could say panic a little bit or have their mind focused on a certain, on a certain goal and does not kind of have a grasp upon the entirety of the situation while this person is going to have so. And uh, what my point here is, is that when this person comes around, they will be on a, of a, a big use of you. And um, they appear as a uh, new source of help, which are going to make current convec conventions. Uh, is that how the word is pronounced? Um, conventions, I think. Yeah, conventions. 
completely irrelevant. Okay, so new source of help, which is going to point you to new circumstances, which are going to give you new means, which are going to uncover new way of tackling things. An original thinker, more like a counseling. It does look like this cooperation is going to be more on a verbal state of the matter. So it's like they will not uh, involve themselves physically into your, uh, into your things, but more like they will give you an advice or uh, they are going to kind of like uh, counsel you in any way. Uh, they can, of course. It will be a good thing if you listen to them, by the way, because it's the Page of Swords. Maybe what they have to tell, uh, maybe what they have to say to you will not going to be liked by you, at least at the start. But should you give yourself a bit of a time to think it over, to think it thoroughly, uh, the more and more you will start to see the sense in it. Uh, and the next card that we do have, or the um, accompanied card here with the page, that is going to be the uh, Seven of Swords. And uh, <laughs> do you know what, guys? I mean, I have that very special person to me. It's a Libra and their problem is that they really care more than others, more for the others than for themselves. And so that is going to be here. It's just this person is going to make you aware that you care more for the others than for yourself. And this time around, you basically need to learn how to say no. You need to learn to do things only when there is a benefit for you and not benefit for the others, okay? So pretty much opening your eyes uh, from that standpoint and uh, by you recognizing this sound advice from that person that will, uh, not boosting your confidence, but let's say it's gonna make you more um, ready to storm your situations into demand for what you have been owned from your career, from your, from your relationship, from your friendships, and so on and so forth. Not to mention that uh, kind of like uh, cancelling yourself with, uh, with this person may make you aware that uh, you have been used in any, in any way by somebody to do their thing, to, uh, to basically manifest their agenda without having anything in return for you as well. It's, uh, you accept it that way, you talk with this guy or a girl and suddenly you realize that what you do is noxious for you in the version of the way you're doing it. So it's time for you to slam your fistful on the table and demand for compensations. Uh, this is what we talking about here. And also these conversations, these, uh, these counselings here is gonna <clears throat> allow you to take the precautionary measures so you don't get deprived or bestowed from certain benefits of yours. Kind of like someone might try to steal your time, someone might try to steal your um, efforts or money if we're talking about in material ways. So it's kind of like uh, you will become more aware of the surreptitious intentions of the people which are around you. So uh, that being said, going to the second card, which is how you should not approach this situation with the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords comes around, it happens to be the exactly the help you need and um, it kind of makes your uh, current circumstances rather irre irrelevant because it does reveal new circumstances and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, what happens there is that you start thinking, well, maybe what they're saying is true, you know, but there could be a better way for me to do things. I mean, I don't have to be that rough with the people around me, you know, I mean, you're a liberal, right? you are a gentle person. So um, every liberal that I know, by the way, I, I, may, I may be wrong here, but every liberal that I know care more for what others think than what they think in general. So what I'm trying to say here is, is that one Libra cares what the opinion of other is, how that Libra is dressed up than what they think for themselves of how they're going to dress up. So it's kind of like following the, the code of conduct of the majority of the people. So uh, I hope that this makes sense here, but with the Wheel of Fortune, it does look like that uh, even though you can recognize with uh, the counseling yourself with that person that there isn't any better way uh, for you to 
you know, overcome your situation and take advantage of this new form of help, you may try to search for a, a better way for yourself, that is, a more milder way to, um, to basically go through the week. A um, very common thing is that you may think of that, yeah, what this person is telling me is true, you know, I have to step up for myself, I have to, you know, demand for myself righteousness, but maybe if I wait enough, things are going to resolve on their own accord and I don't have to be uh, that rough with the people around me, well, guess what? It's, it's not going to be, it's not going to happen. The Wheel of Fortune here is telling you that you should not hope or rather like you should not count of that the situations are going to resolve in your favor, that is. They will resolve, but not in your favor on their own accord. So what the Wheel of Fortune here points, Libras, is that you should not allow anything to happen um, or rather like your situations to be resolved by the current, but instead you should kind of like <clears throat> uh, take control over and uh, you need to basically start demanding here when the Wheel of Fortune comes around in a negative position. The accompanied card of the Wheel of Fortune, that is to be the Five of Pentacles. So what we do have here is a active neutrals and uh, the more you recognize of how disadvantageable situation you are, either into your marriage or either into your career or with your friends, the more you will realize that you have to follow these unorthodoxal, um, an unorthodoxal approach, the more you have to step up for yourself and the more you need to address the issues which are rotting down your marriage, your career or your friendship relationships as well. Uh, the, this formation that we do have here is pointing, unfortunately to me, at least what it says, is pointing that it is better for you to look good in the eyes of others than stepping out for yourself. It is better for you to endure some poignant situations if that is not going to disturb the opinion of what others has for you, which should not be the case here, guys. I mean, you, you Libras got to this time around in this week, uh, March 4th to March 10th, really show your acute sense of self-righteousness, show your strong backbone or strong spine, storm your situations and uh, demand for what you have been owned. Example, you do way too much things in your career or you kind of like tackle as well with the job of a colleague of yours, but you don't get paid for it. So what you need to do here, uh, at least according to these cards, there are two versions. You either demand for higher payment or you stop doing that, uh, that job of your colleague. Of course, your colleague may kind of like traverse their opinion for you that you are a nasty person, that you are not very polite and so on and so forth. Big deal. I mean, you are not there to please anybody. You are there to make money. This is no different than me in my, uh, in my youth uh, when you know, well, simply the situation was that I was working as an engineer and basically from the merchandising department, they were trying to make me do their job. And what I said is I will do your job when I start taking your salary. Until then, no, you will have to do your own job. Or I always, they came to me like I was... I should help them, but it's not. It was not really a help. It was really making doing a part of their job. So this is what I said. Yeah, people hated me, but big deal. It, it was not a big deal to me. And uh, after a couple of times, they even stopped bothering me at all. So I have been left in peace to do what I have been signing for. That is the point here. You do what you have signed for, and not what you have been asked for right there is a big difference because you may be signed that you may sign for for example into your career to work as a consultant you know but instead uh, this morning a, a bunch of printers came around and they have to be put into the storage and there is not enough uh, people to do so they call you over and they say can you help us with moving the printer into the storage 
I am not a, 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 a kind of like physical worker. I'm consultant, so I consult. It is what I do. It is what I signed for. It, it is the only thing that I'm going to do in this work, right? Or in this job. If you want to have some help, well, there is a lot of, you know, jobless people on the street, homeless people. You can give them some money. They can come around and they can help you with the printers. That is just an example. You know, so you need to know. My, my point here is that this person is going to show you what you're worth and what you need to do. Uh, in the sense of according to what you have been agreed of, either career or relationship wise, and you should stop please everybody around you, but instead please yourself first. And uh, when you do so, the next card that we do have, this is the wheel of uh, the uh, judgment and the judgment points that uh, you should accept that as the appropriate way to tackle things. The judgment is about the wake up call and it's also about when thing, things are falling into place. So should you start listening to the guidance or to the example of what that person is giving to you? Because it, it, it looks more like an, an example to me, really. So you see how carefree they are, you see how they tackle with, uh, uh, which you know, with their daily routine, you get amazed by it. And, uh, you know, you kind of initiate conversation with this person and they tell you what they do and how they don't care what people think about them. They only care of what they have been agreed of and so on and so forth. And as soon as you start doing so, uh, that thing, because the judgment, once again, it's the wake up call. This thing, what that person is going to tell you should wake you up. All right. It should serve as a, a, a you know, in these cartoon movies back in the day when a certain idea comes up or a certain breakthrough comes up into the mind of Dexter, for example, from the Dexter laboratory, how a, a bulb in a cloud here in, the, in his mind is popping up. Well, that is the exactly what should happen to you. I mean, uh -huh, and so this is how you do things. This is why you are so happy. This is why you are so carefree and so on and so forth and you should start incorporating that thing in your life and then you will see that you're going to find a lot of resolutions uh, out there uh, that until this very moment you were unable to resolve it is because opinion of others and what they thought about you and their impression worth it more than your personal comfort it's all about that maintaining your personal comfort and the hell with the opinion of what your colleague thinks, what your friend thinks, and even what your partner in relationship thinks. I mean, if, if you have to constantly please everybody around you but yourself, uh, then is this really a happy existence even if you have all these people around you? I don't think so, at least not according to my standards, but I clear, of, of course I'm not liberal. But this is as well what the cards are pointing. So. Until this very moment, you do have all these options available in front of you. None of them really worked out because every one of them involved the opinion of others, involved pleasing everybody else. And now a, a different options available is coming to you, pleasing yourself instead. And this is exactly what you need to do because the judgment points to reunion. And this is not a reunion like reconciliation in between exes, uh, ex-boyfriends and girlfriends but it is reunion body and soul, okay? So you will be in peace with yourself. You are gonna be resigned with yourself. On a more superficial level, of course, that could as well involve reunion in a sense of that you recently broke up and um, this person that comes around, which is the topic of your uh, week, comes as well around and, and, and tells you, why did you broke up? I mean, it, it was a stupid argument and you shouldn't really break up uh, in the base of that argument itself and they will, do, they will say that to your ex as well and there is a huge potential here of reconciliation which you should take according to the judgment card, all right? But once again, this is a very, very superficial uh, interpretation. The accompanied card with the judgment, this is the Knight of Swords, which, for, uh, which comes and appears as a uh, active um, friend. And it means that as soon as you become in peace with yourself and being resigned with yourself as well, because when you start valuing your personal comfort, you know, and your personal acceptance more than anything else, 
I doesn't look like that you. I mean, it's it's gonna look like that you're gonna care less what the others think of you, and then it will become much more easier here with the Knight of Swords to take balanced decisions for yourself in the sense of that you will decide according to your emotions, not according to everybody else's emotions, all right? So, for example, if you don't feel like cleaning your house today, you will care less what your partner means, uh, thinks, all right? Or if you don't want to make a deep prepare a dinner this evening, you will care less what your partner thinks. I mean, if they want a dinner, they the kitchen is free, they can go there and, and prepare it for themselves. You know, my point is that if someone demands something, they need to be able to do it for themselves. Because that is what being a leader means. Well, well, my mother is a teacher and she told me that thing, you know, if you are asking something from your students, you need to be able to do it better than them. For example, when you uh, put a test on math, for 40 minutes, students to resolve the test, all right? The teacher should be able to resolve those equations for 10 minutes. So you gotta be able to do it better than others. So if a coworker of yours demands something from you, they should be able to do it better than you. If your uh, supervisor wants something from you, they should be able to do it better than you. So if you don't do it well and they are displeased, well, they are free to do it themselves then. Why should they ask you to do so? So that's the point here, guys. As soon as you become more in tune with yourself, is gonna you will start taking better decisions for yourself because this time around your logic is gonna be completely, completely synchronized with your emotions meaning of that you will do only what you like and that will have cleansing and nurturing effect on your soul. And finally, what we do have is the final outcome of growth here for you, Libras. This is the King of Wands. I don't think that this is about the person. Basically, uh, you will have now the time, the means and the, uh, the opportunities to make your dreams manifesting in a sense of that you wanted to work upon yourself, you wanted to become something else, you definitely can. At the end of the week, you are going to recognize that what stopped you until this very moment was the criteria and the opinions of others and not your personal criteria. So this card points that at the end of the week, moving forward, should you follow the guidance here of Taro, uh, following finally your own personal criteria, you are going to become a person of authority, a very respected one, uh, someone who it's it's it kind of likes it, it's a force to reckon with all right it is a, a presence to reckon with as well and basically from there uh, you can truly start manifesting your goals and your dreams but if this card is about a person it means that your uh, your new standpoint is going to be spotted as a very authoritarian one in the sense of that now you can stand for yourself and this <clears throat> this man of, of, of position, because that is a man of position, a leader. It could be a boss of a company, it could be a supervisor, or it could be someone who is the very center of a social circle, is gonna spot you. They will recognize in you a fighting, your fighting nature, and they are gonna give you a chance of something. I don't know what, but this is gonna definitely worth exploring, because if you don't manifest your goals, but that person can truly traverse your intentions into very, very powerful actions. The accompanied card here, this is the Tree of Wands. So what we do have is active supporters and it's going to be a challenging thing. <clears throat> But what these cards are pointing is that you are going to sit at the end of the week on a very solid patterns, solidifying on your current positions. And from there, the growth, uh, the growth that you can incorporate regarding your career or regarding your relationship is going to be within your hands. But in order for you to grow through the a very potent energy from the Tree of Wands is only when you place challenges in front of yourself, meaning of that working or doing the same thing over and over that you are good at is not going to impress anybody, is not going to give you satisfaction at all. You have to aim to do a thing that is going to put your <clears throat> skills, your knowledge and your wholeness, if I may express myself that way, to the test 
So you can feel the tension, you can feel the stress, you can overcome it, you can overcome the challenge and you can become a better in what you do. So that being said, Libras, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading uh, for March 4th to uh, March 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, this was a general reading for Libra star sign. And for that reason, uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Libra. But if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, which is exactly where tarot shines, really, they... they they shine best when you give a narrative, meaning question. Uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rob signing out now. See you around. Bye.